Hello, it's Mr. Potato here, and today I'm back in the tutorial world. And I'm going to show you how to build all these different decoration things to make your house look a little more modern and nice. Just little appliances that you can build in any house, works with anything. Now, anything quartz you can replace with any block variant you want. Um, it's just quartz here shows that it looks good with pretty much any block, whatever your house is made out of, or anything you want. But let's get started. So first we have this shower. And as you can see, very simple. Press the button, it turns on. You step in the water, you can get out. Press the button, it turns off. And as you can see, you could use it many times, forever. So the blocks you will need are a block of quartz, dispenser, white stained glass pane, water bucket, and buttons, or a button. And what you're just going to do is you're going to build, like in the corner of your house, in your bath, in the bathroom, just right here in the corner. So you have your, your you'd have your little floor right here, and your ceiling would be here. But so what do you just do? Take a dispenser, put it right in there, add a button to the side of this, so right here the block that's next to it, and add some white stained glass panes. It kind of looks like the fog, like the like foggy glass. Really nice, like, little addition. And in the dispenser, you're going to stick a water bucket. Now, if you want here, this is really just optional. You could put this right here and make a little doorway, or you could just have it like this. It works either way. So, on this one, I put it like that. And you just step in the water. And that's it. And let's get on with the next one. The next one here are two types of sinks. Very simple. And what you're going to need... I just use any type of block, your cauldron, tripwire hook, lever, water bucket, and glass bottle. Now you could use the tripwire hook or the lever, whichever one you like best. And you're going to just have your wall here. So just any block. Just your wall right there. And what you're going to do is fill them with water, add the, your lever or tripwire hook. And if you want, this is why I have the glass bottle. You can actually take water out of the sink. So if you want to make it low or medium or high, that's what you can do. And it makes the sink look like the water is being used. And next we just have a toilet. And all you need is your block, any stairs, any block or any, any stairs that you want. You have your little wall here your cauldron. Now you can fill it with water and use a glass bottle to take out some water and it looks doesn't look like it's overflowing. Add a little trap door and some stairs and you kind of have a nice step and you can go to the bathroom because everybody likes that in Minecraft. So and that's it. Most of these are just really simple. And over here we have a fridge. Very simple common design. And all you're going to need is a block of iron, dispenser, button, and iron door. And you just put the block of iron on, on the floor and your dispenser right there. And you're going to stand next to it, kind of behind it, and place the iron door and the block in front of it. And as you can see, it's going to be like, the iron door is going to be touching that. You shift, add a button to the dispenser, and you when you press it, if you have stuff in here, it'll come out. So you could put like food in there. And that's really neat. And it's a very simple design. And here I have two designs, a cabinet and a countertop. Countertop, very simple. I don't even need to go through anything. But this cabinet right here, it's really nice. You see you have a little chest in here. It's a minecart. You can open it up, get your stuff. And you're going to need some pistons for this. And you just, for this, you just have your wall, and you take one, like, one part out where your cabinet's going to be, and you have to put 
blocks around this right here, right? or the minecart will go crazy pretty much. So you're just going to put that, and then you're going to wait. You're going to try and get the hitbox around the rail, around the rails there, and br just break it. And now what you're going to do, go out over here, add a piston facing it. Sorry. Okay, I went out too far. So you're going to add a piston facing this with a block right there, and you're just going to power the piston. Okay. There. And it's going to push the block in there. And wow, I can't believe I forgot this. You're also going to need a trap door, of course. Now, this one it came out this way. If so, you can't. Act, so you can actually reach it from here. So it's good either way. If you wanted to have it this way, you could add your blocks right here. You know, cover it up. And you can't even tell, okay? And if you click on the block, like on the lower half of the block, it's a nice little cabinet. But if you come to the top here, you, you can see the hitbox, like a little cabinet thing. And it's just really nice, secret little storage. And now let's move on to the next one. I'm going to stick. But also note that you have to be, it has to be in your like two blocks up off the ground so you can just face it because if you're up here you won't be able to if it's up there you won't be able to get it unless you jump and now we have a TV here and you're just going to need three blocks um, or three different blocks block coal stone slabs and buttons what you're going to do make a little stand right here with two slabs on um, one on top of the other in the middle and add just two regular slabs on the sides. Put a button in the middle and put your blocks of coal down in a five by three. So five wide, three tall. Now you could even make this three by four or even bigger, but this is an ideal, um, these are ideal dimensions for the TV because it looks nice. If you have a smaller or larger space, that's good. You can add paintings on here to make it look like it's a screen when it's on. And, you know, you could replace these block of coals with obsidian or, you know, if you wanted to make it look like static, you could even do bedrock, but, or, or black wool. But I really like this because it's not totally smooth, but it's not sharp. It doesn't have, like, the sharp look like obsidian. So, that's great. And now we have some various couches. And all you're going to need is any type of stairs and any type of slab. To, well, you need, only need slabs for one of them, but, so, for this one, you just face this way, put a stairs, put some stairs right here, just one, and then you're going to face pretty much just this way, and it's going to make a corner. Same thing with the other side, but facing the opposite direction, and that's it, and if you want to make a corner couch, and the little corner of your house, you can add the little armrests right here. And then you can add, even if you just do it like this, it still connects. So, that's a nice little touch to a house. You want to make a little corner couch. And this is a couch, um, like a extended couch where you have room for your legs. And all you need to do is make your normal couch. And extend, you could even just do one or two, like three of them. And, you know, if somebody wanted to kick their legs up, they can do that. So, and last, as a little bonus, this doesn't go in your house, but different fountains. So, sorry, these fountains, you know, they're pretty much the same one. So I'm just going to show you how to build one, this middle one, and I'm just going to explain how to build these. Now the blocks you will need for this are stone bricks glowstone, stone slabs, and water, and a water bucket. So, with these stone slabs, I'm going to make the medium one. Now, you just go five, five out like this, but it's just five by five on the inside. So it's practically a six by six, except you're leaving out these corner blocks. It's five by five on the inside, 
you break two blocks down all along the edge. Okay, and just one block down onto the middle. Okay, and now you add in some stone bricks. I think these look nice, but you know, you can do whatever you want. Add them to the ground. And then you're also going to add in to the sides so you don't have dirt in the fountain. Because, you know, who wants dirt in a fountain? Except for people who like dirt. I mean, that's okay, I don't judge, but. So you're just going to fill in this right here. And you're going to go up one. So each slab is like, every two slabs is one block. So you're going to go up one, two, three slabs, okay? And right here, so it's just three slabs, two blocks down. Right above this, it's just slabs all around. Make sure it's on the top layer of a block, though, so the water will actually touch the bottom and not be floating above it. And now all you're going to do is add your water in. And right now you could add in the glowstone too, just in the corners if you wanted. It lights up the fountain at night. And you can you also add in some water on these corners that weren't that didn't get filled in. And in these little corners with running water if you would like. Of course, you can do anything you want to these. And that's how you build your fountain. Now for the big one, it's just the same thing except two little like platforms for the water and there's just each so from the top it's two blocks down and then the top right here and then it's two blocks down not counting this extra half slab like slab below this and then it just right half a block above this and it flows in there and it looks really nice and if you want a mini fountain it's just a little tiny one instead of having that platform you're going to just have one piece of glowstone and one block or two slabs and then you just add your water on top and it's as simple as that now if you would like to see any other things you like you want me to build I'll be glad to do those just leave a comment if you enjoyed like and subscribe for more thanks for watching